Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another fantastic episode of The Critic Court. Today, we're going to be reviewing the Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power series. Now, this is just season one, episode one and two. We actually just got like an early screening of this show, so we won't be talking any spoilers today. But for those of you that are new for our channel, my name is Eric, and I'm joined by my two co-hosts today in person. We have Jordy. Howdy, y'all. And Toke, a.k.a. Malcolm. How's it doing? <laughs> now... This is just going to be a prequel to the Lord of the Rings and Hobbit things, everything that we've seen in Middle Earth. So it's very just like very raw right now. I, I don't want to get into anything too deep, but I love how the scene is set up. But, but Jordy, I just go for it, man. All right, off the rip. I'm just going <laughs> to say geeked. my jaw was on the floor the entire two episodes that we saw in theaters. Um, I can't believe this is up fucking tv show overall it just was jaw-dropping the scenery the cgi it really felt like they had shot this in new zealand again it felt very middle earth like we were right back there um, kind of like the past couple weeks when going back to westeros like you yeah. feel like you're back there and i just think that you they're already starting to set up the conflict and everything really well. You know, everybody stands their motivations. Um, there are some familiar characters that people will know from the Lord of the Rings series, so keep your eye out on those. Um, but overall, for the first two episodes, I got to give this thumbs up oh, so yeah. far. I think this is just a fantastic accomplishment across the board. CGI is just breathtaking man like all of the different races like the dwarves the elves oh, they all look so good the humans, it's the best that we've seen them i think oh yeah, it was <laughs> mind-blowing man the way they just presented this so quickly within those two episodes like oh my god <laughs> man, it, was, it was it was a lot it was a lot it was a lot to grasp but it was definitely it was definitely top tier, you know, production. Everything about it has just been, they've been talking about this, been leading up to it for the moment of Absolutely. about that time. The reign of power. And Rain speaking of, of the budget, you could see every dollar on screen. Oh, this God. thing. It looked like a movie, it like it you looked better than most oh, movies this year. Oh, I, I'm hard pressed to find a movie. That looked better than Oh, yes. Yeah. Like, real quick, special thanks to Cinemark for releasing it, like, a few days early for us. This good. actually doesn't release on Amazon Prime until Friday, Friday the 2nd. So. Well, tomorrow night at 9 p.m., technically. Oh, um, sorry. But, sorry. yes. Well. The semantics, you know. If you stay awake that late, uh, some of us have to get to bed early. <laughs> And especially to watch two episodes. Uh, yeah, that's a lot. But uh, So good, though. I, I'm so proud of how they started it off. Between having Everything. this and House of the Dragon, like, coinciding each other, this is a great time to be a fantasy mm -hmm. fan. Um, Which are you liking more right now? Because I, I, That's an impossible question. I'll tell you, I liked House of the Dragon episode one more than episode one yeah. of Ring of Power. Yeah. But episode two, two. Ring of Power... Man. Blew out episode two of House Blew of the Dragon. The water. So I think it'll be neck and neck from here on out. Like, I'm curious to see what the pace will be. And moving into, like, the next year. They're just opening it up again. They're going to take this boy for a good run. I feel like it's going to be my... They're going to break it down. It's, like I said, it could have been a movie, but they're going to they gonna chop that boy down. Literally. Piece by piece. Explain and then they don't get their point across with this. But. The one thing I will say in regards to story, there are a lot of characters, so you have to pay attention because oh. there are a ton of characters that they are introducing you to right off the bat in the first two episodes. So it moves very and especially quickly. with the mm -hmm. Tolkien esque dialogue, it's a lot to pick up on and get like reacclimated to this world because. The, All the names, just how they're how they're said, and like how said. The, the way they speak in general. It's not even like how it is in Westeros or yeah. anything. It's like 
going back to Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, where they do speak a certain way, and right. once you get it down, like you're right back into it. Episode but it does two, take episode a second to adjust. Yeah, episode two. Yeah. When we yeah, gonna rewatch it all this week? That'll be. Oh, I can't wait to yeah. rewatch this already. They needed to turn the my only grant. They needed to turn those lights off in the theater earlier. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm not. This is not a spoiler by any means necessary. There were some dark scenes right off. The right off when you started off. Not see. Yeah. So like, it was very difficult to see because they still had the lights on while people were walking through. Which like I get. You don't want people to trip or anything. But you know what? If you were there late, it's your fault. Right. Like. Yeah, something consequences. I want to watch the show. <laughs> oh, it fantastic showing so far oh, yeah. in the first two episodes. Um, we might do a spoiler recap on these. I'm not one hundred percent sure yet. Sure. It depends on the schedule because we have a lot going on this weekend with Cinema Day going on. House of the Dragon, Dragon. House of the Dragon. We got to catch up on She Hulk. Um, we're also going to be doing one on Harley Quinn at yes, the end of the season. Yes, we will. Um, we got a lot yeah, coming down the pipeline at this point, so keep an eye out. But it's giving a grade for the first two episodes. I'm going to go with a solid A. I loved it. Um, I, I have no complaints. I'm just ready to see the next couple episodes already and get right back to it, Maybe and rewatch these first two episodes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sure, so I'm like, I'm happy. So happy. Came back into the, uh, oh, where you go? Ohio, right? Yeah, Toledo, we went to Toledo. Toledo, <laughs> Toledo Ohio. Ohio. To Toledo. You know, it was, what, two years ago? Yeah, two years ago. Yep. When movies were shut down due to COVID in Michigan, mm-hmm. we ended up going to Toledo because they still had a uh, tenant showing. Yeah. So we ended up going there to see the tenant, and yeah, we went yeah. back just for Rings of Power. Oh, yeah, we, we, <laughs> we, we, we reminisced when I threw our struggles time. Yeah. It felt really yeah, good to be back. And we came back to celebrate. Final grade? Final grade would be for me. Hey, hey. That's respectful. Yeah, got two ways. <sighs> We're gonna make it three, you know. Just triple A like the company, like the battery, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it a lot though, guys. I'm excited to yeah. see where it goes. I wasn't as excited for this series as I was for House of the Dragon going in. But like after seeing how it's set up and just seeing like all the like camera shots that they have, like where the, the footage took you. I'm so excited to see more and what's gonna be presented in the future. It was on that move. Like this with them putting a budget that big, like Jordy said in the beginning of this, you know it's going to be something huge. Like it's Amazon. Bezos did something right. I had <laughs> huge expectations going to this uh, i know that he didn't necessarily but this even exceeded my expectations for the first two episodes i love the world building that they're already doing the intro alone man. yeah oh, like, wow the, the, intro the, alone. the intro alone i literally looked at jordan in the theater i'm like and that's an intro yeah for the first the first episode i was like oh my goodness Scrap me and scrap me and I'm very <laughs> locked in for this one. It was just wow. It was just wow. It was so quick. They do it. And right on track with House of Dragons. So we yeah. see, we're gonna see. We'll see where we're at at the end of the season. But for right now, that wraps us up for the day. I just wanted to thank you all for tuning into our show. All right, we do appreciate each and every one of our viewers. All right, if you comment, we want to hear from you. Okay, which show are you liking more right now? All right, are you going to be liking House of the Dragon? Or are you looking forward to this one more? Or if you've already seen this, yeah. let us know your thoughts. Yeah, if you got an early yeah. access premiere to the Cinemark too, then talk about it. We want to hear from you also. We oh, will respond yeah. to comments. Yeah, <laughs> not everybody is doing that, but we want to talk to you guys because we're a bunch of nerds just like you. Talk, yo, <laughs> So again, we just appreciate you for tuning in today to the Critic Corpse episode. All right. 
please click the like and subscribe button somewhere. Jordy's going to attach it in one of their faces. Support the oh, yeah, run one of their faces. Hopefully one of their. It's all right. Support their this one's got facial hair. We don't want to cover it up. But thank you guys for tuning in. Have a great rest of your night.